Hi guys, another night. So, uh, I have been talking about social justice issues a lot, and partly that's because I realize a lot of my white brothers and sisters out here, going for my whole life, I've lived all over the country. I, I, I've, I've traveled probably to every state, and, you know, I've met, I'm, I'm, how old am I? 42. 42. <laughs> in, in, in my 42 years, going off all the white people I've met from all over and all the conversations I've had and all the Facebook posts, I realize a lot of white people don't know a lot of black history, a lot of what's happened to the black people, a lot of our history. Like, there are huge holes in what was taught to us, huge whiteouts of, of, of what actually happened. Like, we were kind of taught growing up, most of us, that, you know, racism happened, segregation happened, slavery happened, but it's over. Yeah, there's still some discrimination. Yeah, things aren't perfect. But most white people are just trying to uh, live their life and, you know, let, let, let other people live their lives. And even if that's true, even if that's true, that that is what most white people are doing, that denies so much of what happened it it doesn't it because people were never put on an equal footing or anything close to that one thing i i have i've i've recently discovered personally um from several families that i personally know and then i started to discover through research is that white families all over this country were given grants, were given loans, were given land, were given all sorts of free things, were given all sorts of legs up that the black communities were completely excluded from. Completely excluded from. And this was 50, 60, 70 years ago. This, was, this is our grandparents, our great-grandparents. The black veterans... White veterans that came back from World War I, World War II, maybe Korean War, there were various GI bills that were given, various grants that were given to veterans, and many of them provided full housing and, 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 and all sorts of benefits. Black families were completely excluded from those, except for a few. So not only did slavery happen, not only was, was huge amounts of wealth built on black people without any compensation, and of course, I'm not addressing the atrocities of what happened to the natives in this video because there's no addressing it. Like, we, by all rights, we should just leave and give the land back to them, but that's not going to happen. The conversation is not going to happen. So, you know, but in, in this video, I just, I just want to talk about the, the generational wealth that was given to the white people, to, to our parents, to our grandparents, to our great-grandparents, because... Even our parents were given deals for their whiteness. In fact, most of you, probably in your life, have had some sort of gift or benefit from being white. Y you have to be a little foolish to, 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 to think not. Um, and, and, it, and, and perhaps if you don't know any black people and haven't seen any of their experience, you, know, you, could, you could miss this. But if you know any black people and, and you've watched their experience in life, you'll realize it's, it's still in no way fair or equal. But even if it was fair and equal today, the, the fact that this generational wealth was given to our ancestors and the way wealth is accumulated in this country and the way wealth works with interest-bearing accounts and the way investment structures have worked and the fact that our, our grandparents had the money and wealth at the time when all the investment and industry was being created in this country and we had our hands in the pie, our grandparents. They were completely excluded from all of this. So, so and then when people talk about reparations, it, it's talked about as if it's ridiculous, as if it's ridiculous. That should be the first thing that happens. If we wanna, if we wanna have equality, why do we want to talk about equality and then, and then look at people that are struggling and not give them a hand? You want them to, you actually want to stand above them and talk about equality. So, yeah, I keep talking about these things because we need to come to honesty. That's part of spirituality. 
honesty, truth, compassion, that's part of spirituality. Having our eyes open and seeing things the way they really are, not the way things look nice for us. Love and light to all.